Hello, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Shelby Marybeth and I love making, cleaning, organizing, and decorating videos. I'm so excited to be sharing our laundry room makeover with you guys. I was able to do this over the course of a couple of weeks and compiled it all together into a video full of ideas and inspiration for you guys. So here is the laundry room before. Things are starting to fall apart and I really needed it to finish off this wall. So the shiplap we actually made out of really thin plywood and then we cut them into four inch strips and then just used a nail gun and attached it to the wall and then I painted over it. So right now I just wanted to work on completing that wall because I never got around to it. These are trim pieces for the top and the sides. The trim is just gonna give it a nice finished look. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm just taking off everything from this wall because I'm gonna be completely redoing this hook system as well. And now you can really see all those pieces of wood trying to come off the wall and I'm gonna reattach those a lot more securely so that they're not popping off anymore. But before I do that, I'm just taking off all these little hooks because I'm going to be spray painting these black to match the style that I'm going for in here. We are really going to be taking this whole room down to bare bones. I'm taking everything out. A lot of things are going to get just spray painted just so that they're updated and look nice. I love this system. I'm going to keep it here, but I'm taking it down because I am going to be repainting this wall just to give it a nice refresh. I got this holder from Home Goods, but if I can find one on Amazon, I will make sure to link it in the description with everything else that I can. So I got out our nail gun just to re-secure all these boards on the wall. Any of the ones that are starting to pop out, I'm just securing with a couple more nails. The first time we put them in, they seemed very secure, but it's been four years, so some of them just got a little loose, and we didn't use glue on these because just in case I wanted to take these out, I wanted it to be semi easy and I didn't want it to be a huge mess. So we did not use glue, it's just small little nails. So if I wanted to, I could completely take out all these little boards and just be left with tiny little pinholes. So now I'm gonna be doing the trim that I wanted to do like four years ago, but just never got around to it. So I'm measuring how long I need to cut it off. So I was just gonna finish off this top edge here. And before I even nail it in, you can already see what a difference it makes. I'm gonna put a couple of trim pieces on the side as well. So I got this beveled piece for the top and then on the side here where I'm going to be finishing it off, I just got a flat, it's almost like a rectangular, there's not much detail to it, just a small trim piece so that it finishes off this edge. And then after I'm done securing all of these, I'm going to actually use a caulking gun, which really just gives it a nice finished professional look. I'm definitely not a professional at this, but the best tip I guess I can give is just to get it down as nice and evenly as you can and then you can always run your finger over it to smooth it out and it's easy cleanup too. So if you screw up, you can always just use a wash rag and wipe down the area and start over. But even on the sides where I'm filling in the holes and the gaps between the wall and the trim, I'm not paying too much attention to what it looks like because I'm going to be repainting this entire room. So that is why I'm doing the caulking before I do any of that. So my favorite paint to use is actually the premium paint from Home Depot. It's by Glidden. I think I'm saying that right. So it's Glidden Premium Paint and I like the flat finish. The flat finish is harder to wipe down if you need to, but for whatever reason, I just don't like any gloss or shine on my walls. I like when they are flat or almost matte if possible. But if you want a paint that is easier to wipe down, definitely go for like more of an eggshell at least or a satin. So now that I finally finished this wall, I'm gonna be putting things back together on here. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I did this over the course of a few weeks, so I still needed to be able to use this laundry room. I didn't want to completely gut it, and then I'd have to go to work for a couple days and then come back. So I'm doing this like one wall 
one area at a time. So now I'm going to be painting these hooks that I took off earlier. I want to paint them with black so that they just kind of match the style that I'm going for in this room. And then I'm actually using this box so that I can paint the nails as well so that they all match. Spray painting is literally the best way to give your space an updated look when you are on a budget. So now I'm just using a stud finder to find each of the studs in this wall. I'm actually going to put each of the hooks into one of these studs so that I know they are extremely sturdy and it also helps with my measurement of placement because the studs in the wall are already an even spacing apart so it just makes this step a little easier. I love high contrast so just seeing these black hooks on this white shiplack wall makes my heart so happy. I know a lot of people like to decorate with just that white on white on gray and I've always been a very high contrast person. I like darker colors as well as like lighter ones to like brighten up a space but then just accents of dark like warm tones. So I got these new shoe hooks and I am in love with them so I'm so excited to share these with you. I will link them below but as you can see this space between the door is very thin so I was not able to put like a basket or anything here for our shoes. So these actually just screw off and then it's sticky on the back. So this is how you attach it to the wall. It's super easy and it's extremely sturdy like I have had these on our wall here for a few months now and none of them have fallen even my husband's size 13 shoes fit here and they stay nice and secure on them so this actually came in a pack of six and I think that was a perfect amount for me and of course I think there's different um, packs sizes and everything but I will link them below um, they just stick right on it's so easy you could use these in your closet they could be like on the back of your door even if you have like a small skinny space like this I definitely recommend them our shoes would just pile up here on the floor and then it also made it so hard to vacuum in here or sweep so this just brings them up off the floor so that I can vacuum easily underneath them or sweep and it's so much easier to keep this space clean. I was even able to use one of these to hold my daughter's little size like six toddler shoes. So now that I'm done on this side I'm going to be moving to the other side of our laundry room which is the huge mess. So I'm taking everything out that way I can start from scratch. I loved these shelves. I actually just recently added this one here. I will still be using it in here, but these ones that I'm taking out now are gonna be going somewhere else in our house. I just wasn't crazy about how everything was out in the open. Like I wanted some cabinets in here, one to give us some more storage because these shelves weren't very deep so I couldn't put very much on them and two to hide everything because I just wanted it to look a lot less cluttered in here. I also needed to take everything down because I'm going to be painting the wall behind the washer and the dryer to make more of an accent wall. So before I paint I actually need to fill in all of those really big holes so I like using a dry deck so this one turns white when it is ready to be painted over so I'm just using my fingers to put it in because I feel like I can get the best like smoothness I don't actually have to go back over it with like a sanding paper or anything and create a whole bunch of dust so I always just use my fingers and that's worked best for me. I'm also going to be painting this faucet in here. I'm going to be painting it black just like the other fixtures and I'm just taping around it. I decided to keep it in place and then just use like plastic all the way around it and then spray paint it in here rather than trying to tear the entire thing apart because it was pretty tight on there and I could not get it. <laughs> so I'm just using a plastic bag and tape to cover up the area so that I can spray paint the base and then I was able to take off the faucet and I'll spray paint that outside. Using this plastic instead of taking the whole thing out saved me a lot of time because I was using a wrench and everything and it was not budging. So this worked perfectly fine. This is the spray paint that I will be using on it and it ended up needing two coats. The first coat looked a little almost watery when it was going on but as soon as it dried and then I spray painted over it, it looked absolutely perfect. 
The best way to put spray paint on is just short, small bursts rather than holding it down and spray painting the whole thing quickly. You want to try to do it as slowly as possible because that's going to give you the most even and professional look. I also decided to spray paint the mirror that I had up on the wall with all the shiplap. So I'm spray painting that here outside with the faucet top. And I really feel like that the spray paint allowed me to give those higher end looks to this laundry room without me spending like a whole bunch of money. I honestly was so worried that this faucet was not going to turn out well, but it did. It looks beautiful. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm so happy that I tried it. I think it looks beautiful and I will put on the top after I paint in here. So I will share all of these colors in the description for you. I am obsessed with this blue color and my husband put up these cabinets for me because they were super heavy and I could not do them myself. I'm putting up this shelf that was in here before. I decided to put it here above the sink and I ordered a suspension rod to go above this shelf so that we still had a spot to hang some of our clothes. We don't hang very many, but every once in a while we do. So I still wanted something to be able to hang our clothes on. And I decided to use the shelf that was on this wall before. In a little bit, you'll see where I use it, but I needed to cut it down to size. And this color wasn't 100% what I wanted, so I do end up sanding it down just to get it closer to the natural look that the cabinets are too. So after we had put up the cabinets, I realized how much space was still below them that I could utilize for storage. So I'm using that downy bottle because it was my tallest item so that I could see exactly where I needed to put the shelf because I, those are the items I wanted to have within easy reach here. I was gonna put all the detergents and all the softeners on it. So now you can see I sanded it down so that it matches those cabinets. And now I'm just bringing everything back in. So I really just wanted to show you that you can still update a space and make it look even more beautiful with things that you already have just by using some spray paint and being creative and just taking time to rethink your space and make it more functional and beautiful. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up for me. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you are new here, I hope you consider subscribing. I love making, cleaning, organizing, and decorating videos. So I hope you check my channel out by using the link here or in the comments. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye!